had four missiles along this magazine here, and uh, they're going to be raised. Missile has a, a, a different yield, nuclear yield. So, you know, depending on what we're seeing on the radar, uh, we're going to determine what kind of payload we need. So, again, 86 degrees, not quite, uh, you know, 90, just below that. Um, booster ignites, uh, and the missile breaks the sound barrier in its own length. So, within 42 feet, we're traveling faster than the speed of sound. So, it's like, it's like a bullet out of a gun. Burns out in three and a half seconds at 4,000 feet in the air. And that big solid fuel booster, about two and a half tons, just falls to the ground unguided. So that, that explains your 86 degrees. It's anywhere but on us. Probably in the ocean. That's where it is. Uh, that's when the, the second stage of the missile takes over. Uh, and continues upwards just at this slight projectile, mostly straight up, to about 120,000 feet before it comes straight down on its target, reaching that peak speed of about Mach 3.65, just under 3,000 miles per hour. And that's the intercept point, so we're not going to hit the target, we're going to get within about 30 yards, uh, and then you're going to have this huge explosion. And then the bear bomber is traveling about 500 miles per hour. Any questions? There was, no, was there any threat of... Um um, any kind of craft flying below the radar in those days or not? Uh, yeah. Um, we had uh, a Hawk missile as well. That was a, uh, a low altitude anti aircraft missile. So, um, so that would have. Even you know, in those been... days, there was a threat of below radar. Yeah, I mean, not this, being is the, this is the earliest uh -huh. anti aircraft missiles. Before this, the end of World War II. Uh, we're still using 120 millimeter shells to shoot down airplanes mm -hmm. with guns. So we're just kind of aiming up at airplanes. Mm -hmm, right. uh, now those airplanes have nuclear weapons, so it's, it's not really good enough. They just take aim. We have to guide these missiles. So it, it just keeps escalating. Thank God. Now, that, now that we can defend against aircraft, we come up with uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles and submarine ballistic missiles. Keeps coming up with new ways to destroy each other <laughs> and defend against. Hmm. But none of these missiles were ever launched of the 280 sites in the country for the you know the 20 year span. Only at that test site. I'll bring the missile down and then we'll go down. <laughs> 